Hello everybody, Omni here, finally back with another reaction video here for you guys. Uh, this time around, yet again, another Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. <laughs> They're just dropping these left and right with only three months to go before the new game comes out. Um, this time, we got a full Tangle themed trailer, and I wouldn't even say full, it's only like a barely a minute long. This comes out of the Luca Comics and Games convention over in Europe, and um... Now, if you all have been following, or if you know me at all, you definitely know that Kingdom Hearts is my favorite video game franchise of all time, no matter how convoluted it is. I know uh, I made the Real Rejects, uh, I'm a patron of theirs, and uh, I made them watch a, uh, re <laughs> I made them react to a uh, breakdown of the entire mythology of Kingdom Hearts up until this point. Um, you know, my biggest concern about this new game is it's on a whole new console now, a whole new series of consoles with it dropping completely for the first time on an Xbox, something not PlayStation or uh, Nintendo. And Tetsuya Nomura did say that he would make this game hospitable to newcomers. And uh, unless you have a full course <laughs> at the beginning of this game, I don't know how you can do that if you... If you are curious what a what a complete newcomer or um, someone who has not dove into the games past the first one reacts to just the overall complexity of this entire series of games, go check out their video. And it's a long one, but if you want to, if you know the story and all that, you can just skip to the end and just see the reaction. But good lord, it's 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 hilarious, and I kind of feel bad for making them do that. Um, anyway, guys, let's go ahead. Without any further ado, we will just jump right into this trailer. Now, I'm going to also preface this with the fact that I have still yet that. to see Tangle. So I'm going to have to do this before this comes out. <laughs> I've seen a little bit of it, not, just not the whole movie. I'm really free. God, I cannot get over how good this game looks. It's Mother gorgeous. said the outside world would be full of ruffians and thugs. I can get her to the kingdom. But you guys are clearly more cut out for Especially combat. with these Disney animated films, like the modern ones, the aesthetic of the Kingdom Hearts series just blends so well with the animation in these newer movies. Like this, Big Hero 6, I, I can't wait. This. I'm going back. This is so much more expansive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well that that was a short one like i said um yep nothing else that's about it all right so like i've said i i still haven't seen tangled except i oddly enough i haven't seen the full movie i know the story of rapunzel but i know that it's not just a cut and dry rehash of that i'm not saying that but um, I did, oddly enough, I have seen the ending of that movie, like the last 10, 15 minutes of it. Um, but like I was saying during that, because, you know, I do need to talk over these a little bit. Um, I just cannot get over how well these characters blend together with these other uh, Disney movies that have come out since, you know, hand-drawn animation has kind of gone out the window and a lot of Disney's new films are purely computer generated which is fine there's nothing wrong with that it's just it definitely pays off i think in this series where they get to explore those worlds and they are cgi computer generated characters and aside from you know how sora donald goofy look and say a world like pirates of the caribbean where the characters are supposed to be hyper real this and like i said big hero 6 and toy story and worlds like that where the technology is finally there, these, the the mo character models for Sora, Donald, and Goofy just blend in and mesh so well with these animated creations that Disney has put out in recent years. The style just blends together flawlessly. And I cannot wait to explore these more larger, more fleshed out worlds rather than how it has been in the series prior to this, where it's just been 
a series of corridors after corridors and rooms connected by doors that just load screen into another room. These are open areas you can explore, bottom levels, top levels, ups, downs. And that's a new thing for the Kingdom Hearts franchise. And I'm just, this shows it off a little bit, not as much as some of the other ones, but it just gets me just as excited. I, I can't stop talking about any of this stuff. Like, I love these games. And I don't know how this whole arc with Xehanort's going to wrap up. I hope this is a long game because there's a lot to wrap up. There's a lot of characters that have an arc and a story themselves that needs to be concluded. Um, I know back in the day, Nomura did say that 3 would not be the end of Sora's journeys, just the end of the Xehanort arc. So, you know... Sora will have other adventures, whether or not that Kingdom Hearts 4 or whatever they call it comes out in the next 15 years. Who knows? At the rate it took us to get Kingdom Hearts 3, I wouldn't be surprised if it came out by the time I was like 60. Because, what? It's 12, 13 years since Kingdom Hearts 2 came out before this game finally came out. And it's not like they announced this years later or years ago. They said there was going to be a Kingdom Hearts 3 back maybe a few months to a year after Kingdom Hearts 2's initial release. So this has been something that's supposedly been on the back burner. But if you check interviews with Nomura, he just clearly, he, he says in an interview, I don't remember which one, that the reason it's taken this long is because he didn't realize that much time had passed and he just didn't get around to it. And that's when you just started getting this working, churning pump of them just hammering down on this. People leaving other video game projects to make sure this game comes out in a somewhat timely manner. Because I guess he just did not realize how long it had been since the last titled game came out. But... With that rush in mind, I hope that it the quality of the game doesn't suffer. At least visually, it looks outstanding. And I'm wondering if we're gonna how many more clippets we're gonna see between now and January 29th. Hopefully, not too much more because as much as I keep up on this stuff, I I want to have as much as possible unspoiled so I can go into this and just lose myself in it. Um. I recently completed a full playthrough on uh, the very first game, the HD remix of uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 on Twitch. So if you'd like to, I, I do plan on going through those, uh, the rest of the series before this game comes out. That's a goal at least. Hopefully I'll get it and achieve that goal. Um, so you can follow me over on the Twitch. Um, along with other reactions, uh, definitely follow me on the Stardust app. I've been posting a whole bunch of stuff there um, on different shows and movies I've been watching. Um, I actually just watched The Shining for the very first time <laughs> earlier today, and I'm going to be posting something up on that. Uh, shows I cover all the uh, CW uh, superhero shows, the DC shows, uh, Doctor Who, uh, Walking Dead. Well, after tonight, I don't know about Walking Dead, but um, anyway, that's just something to do. All the links to all this stuff will be in the description of the video including one over to the Real Rejects video that just posted up earlier today. Uh, but anyway, I would love to hear your all's thoughts on this game. Have you all played any of them? Did you just play the first one? Do you have any interest in picking this up? Do you think you could get into this if you've never started it? Anyway, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with more down the road. I'll catch you all later.